Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here at Peterson Electric. I have not done a video yet on floodlights mixed with video cameras. Um, our neighbor made the mistake of putting her uh, floodlight right on top of her video camera, which then blinded the camera when it kicked on at night. Uh, these ones are made by Swan. They have um, a night vision on them, if you will. And then I've also done one by Night Owl. Um, I'm pretty impressed with them. Uh, you got to keep in mind it's difficult getting the wires. The jacks are fairly thick. Um, the trickiest part of this, and I'll show you what we did. Um, we put in a security light right there. I'll, I'll tell you who it's by. I don't really care for the sensitivity on it to get it to set to dust to dawn. That was a nightmare tonight. Th half hour on each extra fixture. So it's just their new design of turning off the circuit for one second and back on but this one the, the the room cuts off there's a loft inside of the of this first cavity this this arch or that uh, hypotenuse if you will that triangle so we went straight out of the outlet and drilled that for the sensitivity because they get a lot of people parking here with kids and then right here we had to run some conduits through to get the fish their fish wire uh, line through so we could pull the wires through here with no damage and that turned out real well um, but we we almost could have done a third camera but it worked out really well to stick this one here when you label them you got to remember it's one through eight and you're going to feather that because you have to know inside what is what and then this one right here uh, went really good to hit the sign so if you turn you'll see where that where that went so it looks like we have a lot right here, but it's not. These are not angled more than, in my opinion, about a 90 degree angle. So for instance, this one is really picking up the tree to that little pot on the right side before it hits my bumper. Then the next one's gonna hit pot to front of the bumper of my van and so on all the way here. This one turned out nice really high because it's hitting right where my son's uh, waste is out there. You can actually see his hair right at the bottom of that tree over there. Um, this light was lower, of course, so when it kicks on, it should help, but not blind. If it does blind, we'll feather those light pieces in the LED um, lamps. And then right here, this turned out really well, and then we put one over here. Okay, so the trickiest part of getting that in, because these are not wireless, was getting everything feathered into the center and um, this is a cavity that was open. We thought it went all the way through, but actually her son's bedroom starts here. There's a major beam. So we had to come down and strap that and go in. We thought about putting it right in through the wall here above the panel. We don't want to leave the monitor and the equipment outside in the winter because it's cold. And we did mud up the areas we drilled to get in because this is a firewall. Um, I'm not an expert mutter, so I don't pretend to, but I, I, she's going to do this herself or hire a guy to do the orange peel knockdown. But we had to drill through this, and this was a heavy beam, and the duct was right above. I only had two inches to work with. But we did fish this all the way over to here, and then... Hello? Oh. And um, we did get that fished also to here. But then we had to drill up and get all these wires to drop down this wall. Uh, and then we had measured that at eight foot. And where they came in, because this is what they wanted, was right here. And we used one of those, uh, I don't know, low voltage jack that looks like it's a brush. And uh, we turned it sideways just so it would feather out nicer like that. Uh, it does run on a 12 volt transformer. So you've got to hit those, and then you've got to line up what you numbered out there, one through eight here. So it's not too hard to install. It's just really, hopefully, not a fish wire and get them in and be patient. It took all day to get this. And um, so as you look at it, this is what they were concerned about, the security, having kids park here and go out there in the back area. Um, and then so that's, that's your scene here. Then my front bumper hits to here. Then as you're walking, you'll see this on four feathered uh, to five, six, as I told you, was a nice angle. This actually has a better uh, light up than my neighbors, so definitely is a far view. I mean, we could even tilt that up a little more, but then we'll lose the sidewalk and see the front door of them. Then it moves over to here, and we had someone walk, and so they'll walk past this way, and then we'll walk through the neighbor. 
This is the only one I wish I had another camera because then I could have tilted it down to the shed. Um, but yeah, they've got nine windows but only eight cameras and an eight station on that. To get to the back would have been difficult. I would have had a quite a few holes all the way through here to get down and shine and then down the wall because they have a pergola. So we talked about maybe later than just doing a wireless and we screw it on and they only need maybe three. Uh, they'll probably come as a four kit. So anyways, guys, um, yeah, we, we do simple installations like the video camera things, but if you're getting super fancy on it, not really. We did one at the Quality Inn in Fort Collins two years ago and we had to order extra cables longer because it was like 500 foot runs. This was about 100 foot runs. The extra cable, uh, keep in mind when you're getting all your jacks, those were different lengths as we came around the house. So of course, station eight over here, or channel eight, had a very long extra amount of wire. So we got all of that wrapped up really nice and tight, and then we kept it between these holes, which no one's gonna see it, because this goes up in the cavity, and the ductwork goes right through here to the bedroom upstairs for the cold air return. So again, keep that extra wire up there, keep your length, that was very tedious to get that the right length drop it down so she doesn't have a bundle of wire down there it just comes straight up and in and we left that extra which it was anywhere from five foot to 25 feet because again that number eight is right here so close to there um anyways guys thanks for joining us hopefully the video will help you out simplicity and how to pull it and again um getting it mudded thanks bye